Hi, it's Kim Darwaza here, your Northern Virginia Realtor, and I've gotten a lot of questions, as you can imagine, about how um, I think the uh, Amazon HQ2 will affect our real estate market. So I've done some research, and of course, you know, it's still very uh, a lot of gray area right now, but I just wanted to address um, some of the things. So first of all, um, like I said in my post the other day, like 14 people had upped the price of their house in Arlington and another 20 some people who were trying to rent it. I think that's all very, a little premature seeing that they're not even going to break ground until 2019. And unless you want to have your house on the market until then, I would suggest that that is uh, not the greatest idea. Um, and also I went on the Amazon website and they only have 27, uh, 25 or 27 open job positions for the Arlington office posted right now. So these um, 25,000 people are not all going to descend on Arlington as if there's an apocalypse or whatever, or California is going to fall off into the ocean. I mean, it's going to take a while. I mean, it's a 10 to 15 year development plan. And there's a lot that goes into this. I mean, they're going to make a couple new interests, interests, entrances to the metro they're going to make a sky bridge from uh the arlington landing to the airport so there's a lot of construction that's got to happen um uh, just for infrastructure in addition to the buildings that they're going to build or what they're going to remodel or how are they going to handle it so this is not going to happen overnight so i think right now it's not going to affect people right away um, a question that um, I got the same question with the silver line going out to Ashburn. People are like, oh my gosh, is my property value going to go up? And I'm like, it could, but it depends on where people work because I don't know about you, but I, I personally wouldn't want to sit on the silver line all the way from Ashburn into DC, into DC. I mean, you'd be on that thing for like an hour and a half, probably it would be miserable. So you, you have to think about Crystal City as a location as well. And the commute there is tough. I mean, it's not an easy commute. So you have to think about what areas people would be willing to commute. I mean, that commute up uh, 95 to 395 into the city is already horrendous. They call it the main line. So I don't know if people will want to live in that part of Prince William County, if that's where they're, where they're gonna live. Um, they're saying the salary is like $150,000 on average. I don't really think most people with a family are going to be living in Arlington for $150,000 a year unless somebody else has another job. Um, the cost of housing there is very, very expensive. And also our real estate market is driven by school scoring. So that's another huge thing is people are people tend to move here um, and buy houses based on school scoring. So you have to think about that and how far people are going to go out to get that as well. Because I think, you know, for to commute from where I live to Crystal City would probably, I don't know, probably take an hour and a half, uh, close to an hour and a half, even though it's not that far, but at that time in the morning. And then the only, you know, if you take 66 and you're looking at paying 10 to $20, unless you have a carpool inside the Beltway from Hot Lanes. So you know, to me, that's a huge thing. And also Amazon has a very tough corporate culture. I mean, there was an off, um, there was an article in the New York Times a few years ago talking about how it's a very cutthroat place to work. Um, it's not, it's not a place with, where you can't have a strong work ethic either. I mean, my husband has a lot of nothing trying to slam on millennials, but my husband has a lot of them and like, they'll be like, well, I'm going to work from home today because I have to do my laundry. And this is like in Manhattan. So that is just not going to fly over there. I mean, they really, if you're not a good performer, you get fired. I mean, there were stories in the New York Times about how people have had mental breakdowns at work uh, just because of the, they're working like 80 some hours a week. So it's not going to be the job for everyone anyway. And we also don't know what kind of jobs. I mean, Bezos is talking about getting into healthcare, he's talking about getting into real estate, he's already in technology, we already have AWS out in Herndon, if I was going to work at 
Amazon. I, I mean, I would much, it'd be much easier for me to work at that office than it would be in Crystal City. So we don't even know what kind of jobs they're going to be. Yeah. I mean, I would assume that a lot of them would serve the federal government just because of proximity. So they would probably have to do with that and less about healthcare and real estate, but you know, who knows? So just something to think about. And then as far as the jobs, you know, everyone's like, Oh, 25,000 people are going to move here. Well, this is not a corporate <clears throat> headquarter move. This is an additional corporate headquarters. So you have to think about that too. So a lot of the people who are going to work there are probably already live here. And I go to an economic summit every year with Dr. Fuller. He is an economist at George Mason University and he's very smart. I go to this every year. He tells us, talks about the real estate market and the trends and how the economy is and how it affects. So he basically stated that Northern Virginia takes in 50,000 new jobs every year anyway. So we're already taking in 50,000 new jobs. So yeah, it's more, and they're not all going <clears> to <throat> come like on day one. So it's going to be gradually phased in. So yeah, I think it will definitely help our housing market, but I don't, I don't foresee us being in like a, the Seattle situation or San Francisco. Now that I've done more research, I think that's everyone's immediate sort of knee jerk reaction was, Oh my God, it's like, crazy. So um, another thing to think of, like when mobile, Exxon Mobil moved their headquarters back to Texas a few years ago, we lost 2,100 jobs from that move. And that, you know, I didn't really see any sh shift in the market from losing all those people. Um, a lot, some of them stayed and, and some, I had a client, I sold his house, he, they retired, so they moved out of the area. But there's also things like Nestle and Northrop Grumman both moved their headquarters here from California in the last few years. Those were only 500 to like a thousand people that moved into the area. Also Volkswagen moved their headquarters from Michigan here, their U.S. headquarters. That was like five. So we have things like this in our area constantly happening. And you have to think like AOL used to employ like a gazillion people and now they're it's really tiny it's now called oath so you know we constantly have people moving in and out but yet we have one of the lowest you know, we do have a low unemployment rate here so those are the things i just wanted to talk about um just let me look at my my list here to make sure i covered everything um so yeah, and I think like the parking, I guess they're gonna subsidize their their employees parking because parking in Crystal City has always been a total and complete nightmare. I remember in the 90s after college, I knew people who worked in Crystal City and they actually had to pay $100 a month to park their car and they were only making like $25,000 a year because that's what people got paid right out of college in the 90s. So you're thinking you get paid $25,000 a year but you're paying $1,200 a month to um, park your car but nowadays it seems like all these companies are subsidizing that or giving um you know the train um uh credits towards using public transportation like they reimburse you so who knows but those are just my initial points on the situation obviously um time will tell and um, i'll try to update people as i hear other things but for right now um, I don't really think we're going to see anything in the immediate future as far as like our housing market going crazy. But anyways, if you have questions, um, feel free to call me or text me 703-856-2254, or you can um, put a comment below or you can, um, you can, um, direct message me. A lot of people don't like to put, make their comments public, but yeah, so I look forward to hearing from you and thanks for watching.